the 200 uh, 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 anniversary of the birth of, of Darwin and the 150th birthday of his uh, first publication of the Origin of Species, which uh, a part of the world will celebrate. How will you? Uh, oh, I, I guess you won't celebrate this year, but, but what, what will you do? What, how, how will you answer uh, to this anniversary of Darwin? I actually think that uh, 2009 will be an anniversary of Darwinism's collapse, not uh, the birth of his theory or of himself. I tend to believe that people will be very surprised at the fact that they have believed in Darwinism and his theory for a very long time. Uh, people will be surprised and shocked at the fact that hundreds of universities around the world and many professors have been uh, supporting Darwinism and his theory from the very beginning. And they will be surprised at the fact that they themselves have believed in this imaginary theory for a very long time because I find Darwinism as a kind of Satan's plot uh, which he used against people. So uh, I think that uh, 2009 would be such an anniversary for me, not a celebration. How, uh, this is my last question. How do you finance uh, your intellectual struggle against Darwinism? How do you finance the, uh, the, publication, the publication of your uh, Atlas of Creation with, uh, I don't know, how many million uh, copies, copies all over the world? Of course, uh, we have a publishing house, and uh, one important fact is that I don't receive any royalties from the selling of my books. That uh, leaves a great amount of uh, profit to the publishing house, so this is our main income. And another important fact that my books are being uh, sold uh, in great numbers. Last year only uh, 8 million copies have been sold in Turkey and this number is 2 million copies abroad. Beca when you compare other uh, books uh, in Turkey you will see uh, a striking difference because in Turkey uh, no such book is being sold in such great numbers. This year these amounts have been uh, multiplied and they are increasing uh, all the time. So this is a great profit for the publishing house. And uh, we should not be surprised at the fact that uh, some of these books being published are uh, being sent as complementary copies to uh, certain institutions and universities because a publishing house needs to do some uh, advertisement and publicity. So instead of doing that, uh, they might choose to send complementary copies. And the number of complementary copies uh, being sent for free is not as much as people think because we have to think of the impact of my books as well because only this year 60 million copies of my books have been downloaded from our, our internet pages. And uh, another important fact which needs to be uh, which needs not to be forgotten is the sensational impact of my books and my arguments in the public. So when you put all these things together, uh, you will have a very serious amount of profit for the publishing house, which is uh, being uh, spent for publicity and advertisements. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to make a few additions of additional remarks. Uh, in Turkey, I have been uh, confronted with people who, who tried to stop me and who tried to stop my activities. And this has been so for the last 25 years. And these reactions are mostly coming from communist and Marxist people. And uh, in Turkey, for example, when I was arrested once, uh, they put some cocaine into my food and I ate that food uh, being unaware of the fact that it contained cocaine and then I was uh, condemned uh, as being a cocaine user. But then the forensic analysis uh, has proved that so I, I, have, I was found innocent in that case. So this, I'm only telling you these uh, as an example of what Darwinists and materialists and communists in Turkey have tried to do to me, but then it, it is not an easy thing to go into a fight against Darwinism and materialism. Uh, another interesting example is that I have been put into a mental hospital once and I had to share a room with nine people, with nine patients, and these were really very dangerous people because they killed 
people in front of me, in front of my eyes. They murdered people. But then uh, later on, I, I, uh, I was found healthy, mentally healthy. And I was released uh, of that mental hospital. That was another plot which was uh, played against me. And right now I'm going through a very difficult uh, legal process, actually. The judge of the Supreme Court has uh, explained to the court that there are no legal proofs uh, proving that I'm a gang leader. And uh, he, he, he has explained this to the uh, court and the other authorities, but then uh, it did not help and I was uh, found guilty. But what is important for me is that the public itself does not believe that I am a guilty person. They don't believe that I am a gang leader. So what the public thinks is important for me because they cannot stop my activities. They cannot stop what I'm doing uh, in my writings, what I'm doing as an author, because whatever happens, I do respect the decision of the court, but I will go on working on my publications and on my ideas. And all these uh, examples I have mentioned a moment ago, they have been uh, actualized by the members of the uh, Ergenekon. And now the Turkish state uh, has got hold of the members of the Ergenekon and it was uh, broken down. You, are, you consider yourself also as a victim of Ergenekon? Yes, definitely. I'm a victim of them and of their actions because they have been uh, playing against me uh, for many years. They are using their power within the state against me. And although many of its members have been arrested now, many others are still in this state and they are still going on uh, doing things against me. So they are uh, working and uh, they are acting as a kind of uh, deep state within this state. And Ergenekon is the organization which also organizes all the things which is done against me. I have been uh, tried to uh, be uh, killed nine times. Or Ergenekon has tried to kill me nine times. Now, or in the past? When, when did, when did they last time try to kill you? The last time was ten years ago. Uh, their actions against me were uh, at their highest between 1990 and the year 2000. Right. For example, that uh, instance when my food was, when cocaine was put into my food, uh, this was done by the Argenicon members. If I had not got rid of that allegation through the results of the forensic analysis, I would still be condemned of that. They are holding some very important and key positions in the Turkish state. They are actually acting like a web of, of a spider within the Turkish state. They have uh, members in many state institutions like the legal institutions, the courts, the police institutions and in many universities they have some very important members. And these have been proved in the uh, Argenekon files which are now uh, being worked on in the courts. But why do they put so many effort in... in uh, I mean, you, you, you say yourself you're, so, you're only a writer, an author. Um, why are you so important for a guinecon? Why do they see in your person such a threat? Because they are against my ideas and they are trying to stop me to... Uh, generate and bring forth new ideas. Since they cannot stop the generation of my ideas, they are trying to stop me through such plots and through such plays. Mesela bir kadına zorla tecavüz etmeye kalktığım ve onu tehdit ettiğim, şantajda bulunduğum şekilde. Since they are trying to stop me uh, writing my books and regenerating my ideas, another interesting example is when they accused me of rape and blackmail. That woman went to the court and uh, 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 forwarded her allegations against me. But then, uh, through analysis and many uh, long processes, I proved myself to be innocent. For example, I have offered the members of the court and the judges the recordings of the two different houses 
uh, and in that video recordings, if I had not the chance of proving that the two houses were architecturally different, I would have no chance of proving myself innocent. But even that did not help, and uh, a superior court has found me guilty, and that woman uh, perpetuated her allegations, and now I am condemned to pay uh, a kind of penance to her, and uh, I'm about to pay this. So this is uh, another striking example of what people are trying to do against me. So, so maybe now, besides your scientific books, it's time to write a biography. Yeah, that would be... Thank you very much.